Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Vinny's Talk. Vinny's Talk. Gabby Petito. We're talking about the Gabby Petito case. And we're talking about Gabby's legacy of life. Um, I'm still, still covering this case. Even though it's over and uh, people are like, well, the trial hasn't started for the justice for Gabby, right? But we want to continue to talk about what Gabby stood for. Also going to be um, doing a special for Gab's birthday in March 19th to be exact. And I want to welcome you guys to that. As you guys can see, we got Miss Gab's in the back there. But today we're just going to be talking about her legacy just a bit. And, um, you know, from the very beginning when I uh, learned about this case and also her story. And I'm going to be saving just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit um, for her celebration of life. As you guys may see, I'm rocking the Gabs. You know, rest in peace to Miss Gabby Petito. Um, her, her legacy I want to talk about today is, um, the effect that she had on the globe and, uh, you know, Gab's parents, Gabby's parents do and always want, um, <clears throat> awareness, awareness or raised for not just Gabby, but anybody who's gone through domestic violence or any type of abuse and, to find someone who's lost, but also, you know, her story touched a lot of lives, right? Um, Gabby's traveled half of the globe, half of the world, you know, around the United States in her van. And like I said, when the story first came out that she went missing and, um, you know, she was with supposedly the love of her life, Brian Laundry. I don't even like saying his name, but this person that was supposed to be her lover um, you know, did something terrible to her and, and murdered her. And a lot of people don't really understand why someone would do such a thing. And I don't understand why someone would do such a thing to such a beautiful person. Right. But her legacy stands very strong. And, and, uh, we're going to be doing a remembrance, a, a, a celebration of life. Like I did last year, but I feel like every year that passes by, I want to keep her spirit alive and do some type of memory uh, celebration of life for Miss Gabby. Um, when I first started covering her case, like I wasn't uh, into the true crime community or really talking about too much true crime, but um, her, her, her this case was very different. You know, someone who loved nature and hiking, right? And just... Uh, enjoying the the richness of beauty of life um and going to so many different locations and um a little a little bit about what i'm going to be talking about and the celebration of life is uh, just a little bit about that and 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 what she stood for as a a person so if you guys want to tune into that you know i'm saying that's going to be march 19th we're going to drop that celebration of life for miss gabby probably throw up another beautiful picture there just for memorial purposes and we want to remember her you know what i'm saying so uh the legacy and celebration of life we will uh, be working on that and uh i want to thank you guys for joining Vinny's talk and also talking about her and what she stood for as a person and you know she loved butterflies she loved beautiful things and and such such a tragedy thing had to happen but we will continue to fight for that justice um for her but i want to thank each and every one of you for just uh joining and and watching my videos like subscribe you know all that all that jazz but uh i'm gonna be doing a celebration of life for for her for her birthday and also that titanic special in april it's coming up it's coming up but anyways guys thank you guys peace out